Yo, what's good? So I just got home from Suiza gets a wrong beside versus Juan Francisco Estrada in the forum. 12 rounds of fire, man. I want to say 12 rounds of action, but I didn't want to sound like Michael Buffer, like an HBO shill. But man, for 12 rounds, these little guys just gave it to each other back and forth. The, these were really close rounds. This was a pretty close fight at times, but I did believe Juan Francisco Estrada won this fight. I believe that he was saved from a few knockdowns in the fight, the first couple rounds. Yes, he was off balance, but they should have been counted as as knockdowns. And before you guys, you know, with your flaming keyboards... You tell me off. I, I want you to know that I've only seen this in the forum, in the arena. I have not seen this live. And I will watch this again tomorrow because a lot of people said that they were happy with this decision. That Sarangu Sai won by a majority decision. That 117-111 card was ridiculous though. That was That was a really silly card. It was a really bad card. At worst, in the way I saw it, Gaia won seven to five at worst. At worst, it was at absolute worst in my opinion. It was a draw. But like I said, I need to watch this on television. But from where I was sitting, it looked like Gaia won eight rounds to four, and he deserved to win handsomely. Excuse me. So Rungusai did land a lot of punches. He was he he was pressuring the whole fight, but. Estrada beat him to the punch. He threw better combinations. He was out jabbing him. He was out moving him. He was out landing him every single round. And the thing that surprised me most about Gallo, I knew he was a more skilled fighter. I knew he threw better combinations. I knew he would be the more technical fighter. But I didn't realize he'd be such a dog. Woo! That's Estrada. He's not El Gallo. He's El Perro. Woo! He was a dog this fight. In the 11th round, I had it for Sor Sorong Visai, but it, it, it was a pretty slow round compared to the other ones at least. It was still a very exciting round. But at the end, at the end, Sorong Visai tried to make, his, make it a fight, make it a dog fight. And Gallo was happy to oblige. And he won that dog fight. In that those last few seconds of that round, he was winning that dog fight. And so Rongosai brought that dog fight in the twelfth. And that twelfth round, man, what a round. What a round. What a fight. What a way to finish a fight. That that these guys just put it all on the table in that last round. The crowd was cheering. Ah yo, ah, yo. And I, I don't think I'm not the type of guy that gets swayed by a crowd. I don't I don't think that it's a crowd that got me in this fight. I um a crowd was booing after there's no reason to boost a wrong Versailles. It's not his fault. He fucking fought his heart out. He he deserves everything he gets, man. Because he fought his heart out. But I don't think he won this fight. I do not think he deserved this decision. I think Gaia won the dog fight. He won the technical fight. And he deserved at least seven rounds in this fight, man. But what an exciting fight it was. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Th in the little division. Thank thanks, everybody who kept talking about him. You have to watch these guys. You have to watch these Superfly guys. You have to watch these guys on their fe featherweight. Trust me, you have to watch them. Thank you for all you guys for pushing these fighters on us boxing fans because... They they needed our attention, they need respect, and they deserve all our respect. And if Sorangusa and Gallo Strada aren't on your pound for pound list, why why even have one? What's what's the point? Uh, you guys know I don't part partake in that circle jerk, but it, it, if you're a fan of mythical rankings, how are these guys, how are these little fellas not on that? Thanks everybody for watching. Peace.